All right, guys. Uh, we've got something special to open today. We have the uh, SF2000 from Spider Farmer. It's got the instruction manual. XLG240 Meanwhile driver. Turn this around for you. And you can see you've got the power cable nicely packaged with the uh, push connector here. And then you got the the dimmer. Looks like the exact same dimmer that was on the uh, SF1000. Very nicely packaged. And uh, yeah, looks like it's it looks like it's two SF one thousands, but from my understanding, uh, it's actually a different um, array of LEDs. So it's not two SF one uh, thousands. It looks like it's very specifically an SF two thousand. So that was the unboxing, guys. And uh, next portion will be. I'll show you guys this setup. I'm going to put this in the 3x3 and we're going to do a full run under the 3x3 uh, for flower. So yeah, that'll be the series. But that was the unboxing guys for the uh, newly updated SF2000. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, stay tuned for the next portion. All right, guys. So here's the light in the three x three. Holy smokes, this thing is bright. Uh, it's at 100%, and uh, I'm still in bed with the uh, with the girls in this tent. So um, I'm hanging this about. I'd say I think I measured it's about 34 inches on average from the canopy and bed. Um, and I'll be moving that closer as we go into flower. We flip into flower in this tent probably pretty soon, so um, I'll be doing a full uh, full run under the SF2000. So uh, as you saw in the previous portion, uh, it's got the dimmer just like the SF1000. So I'm dim that all the way down there. So still pretty bright, but you can you know. A little easier on the eyes um, so when you dim it down to like 10% this would be great for like clones and seedlings and stuff like that you can put it down closer to the canopy when you lower the uh, the potentiometer on that and get tighter internodal spacing uh, for these purposes though 
I'm going to go ahead and raise that up because I've got it at 36 inches. So um, I'm going to move that closer as we go with the flower. But like I said, the dimmer is pretty much the same unit as the SF-1000. Um, I haven't had a look at the SF-4000, but I think it might be the same. This is the updated model for 2020. Uh, let's turn that off. All right, so that's bypassing the dimmer. Bypassing the dimmer, so that's good. Um, so yeah, let's flip that back on over here and turn the light on. So now we're back to having the dimmer capability again. So yeah, the um, really pleased with this light. I mean, it's a very sturdy build as usual, just uh, like the SF-1000. Very sturdy build. It's got like a nice coating on the LEDs um, for protection. Um, I, I can't remember what IP rating it was at, but I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check that out. Um, but yeah, so far it's, it's pretty awesome. I've got it hanging with uh, rope ratchets on all four corners, uh, pretty evenly spaced. And uh, yeah, I, I'm really I'm really surprised with the footprint. Um, if you guys followed the SF1000 grow, you know that there was some challenges with that. I don't think there's going to be any challenges with this SF2000 because it's got a pretty good footprint. So I'm actually looking forward to this run. Um, so yeah, that that's a look at the SF2000 guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Hope it was uh, useful, and uh, hope you like seeing it set up in the three x three. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and shoot me shoot me a question in the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer it. But like I said, I'll be leaving a, leave, leaving a link to the um, uh, in the description so you guys can check that out and see the specifications according to the manufacturer. And um, yeah, check out this uh, this coming season. Uh, that'll be season 10 season 10 so I'll be doing what I'll be doing is I'll I'll show you guys the 4x4 setup and then I'll show you guys the SF2000 setup for the 3x3 we're gonna do these two plants for the entire run in this tent so um, over here I've got uh, citrus haze which is a sativa hybrid and this is platinum OG which is a indigo hybrid uh, and I just transplanted these girls, so they're still, you know, getting acclimated to the new pots. So we're in five-gallon pots at this point. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I'm really looking forward to this run. Um, and then if things work out well, I may try an SF4000 on the 4x4. So I uh, hope, you, hope you guys like this. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, please. And uh, drop me a comment. Let me know if you, have any, if you guys have any questions and if you yourself have used an SF2000 on the 3x3. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much, guys. Stay safe. Take care.